So after running out of video ideas that would actually make my channel somewhat original, I decided that for now I'm just going to read the entirety of my immortal in a valley girl accent. I'm sorry if you kill your ears what listening to this because don't worry, I'm going to kill my own throat. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name with purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Offers not if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hardy. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England. I'm in the seventh year. I'm, I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. I'm, for example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace and a black leather mini skirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts, and it was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was really happy about. A lot of preps stared at me, and I put my middle finger up at them. Ugh. Hey, everybody, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was <gasps> Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Chapter 2 The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took off my giant MCR t-shirt which I used for pajamas. Instead I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots and black fishnets. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend Willow woke up and grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Mansion t-shirt and a black mini fishnets and pointy high heel boots. I watched her do that. We put on our makeup, black lipstick with white foundation and black eyeliner, of course. Oh my god, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the slivering common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. You're right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied, flirtily. Guess what? He said. What? I asked. My uncle Charlotte's having a concert at Hogsmeade. He told me. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love GC. They are my favorite band, besides NCR. Well, do you want to go with me? He asked. I gasped. Oh. Chapter 3. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and I made it look all spiky. I, I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I, I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some GC. And no, I don't have any band-aids. <laughs> They're for preps. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. I looked like a panda. I was so sexy. And then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to the concert and <laughs> wouldn't try to jump on the boys on the stage. <laughs> I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plaid t-shirt. They played the show too. Black, baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and little eyeliner. A lot for cool boys. Oh wait, no. I wrote it wrong. I say a lot of cool boys wear it. <laughs> Hi, Jaco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying back Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666, Hail Satan. 
and flew to the palace with the concert. Oh wait, no, that's plays. I can't read. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. We were so fucking stoned. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We had to carry each other because we just couldn't fucking walk. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte and tried to avoid getting punched. You come in so cold, you're covered in blood. They're all so happy over I've. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mum, she sets you free into this life. Sang Joel. I don't know the lyrics to the song and I also don't know the tune, sorry. <laughs> Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing him out as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly Draco looked sad. What's wrong, I asked as we moshed to the music, and then I caught on. Hey, it's okay, I don't like it better than you, I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arm around me, all protective. It was so hot. Really? I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, he's going out with Hillary fucking duck. I fucking hate that little bitch, I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. Hey. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got juicy concert tees! Jacob and I wait, Draco, not Jacob. Who the fuck is Jacob? I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. What is he doing, guys? Oh my god! Ch chapter four. I am so sorry. Draco! I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped flying the car and he walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. The fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. But then, suddenly, just as Draco kissed me passionately, he climbed on top of me, and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took off my top, and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra. <laughs> then he put his thing into my, uh, you know what, and did it for the first time. Ugh. Oh, oh, I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm. And then, what the hell are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was Dumbledore. Oh, God, I'm going to fucking kill my fur by the end of this. <sighs> Chapter 5. Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools, he shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face, and Draco comforted me. When we went back into the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why would you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shouted, because I love her! Everyone was quiet. J Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. He was, for some reason, he had my voice. I was so scared. Jake and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. <laughs> was that cool? Are you okay, Ebony? Jake asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm, brushed my teeth and my hair, and then I changed to a low-cut, low black floor-length dress with race la red lace all around it and black high heels. And when I came out... <gasps> Draco was standing in the front of the bathroom. I don't know what he was doing in the girls' dorms, but I guess he has actually got a vagina instead of a peepee. <laughs> and he started to sing, I just want to live by good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed, and after that we said goodnight, and he reluctantly went back to his room. Ah, uh, chapter six. Oh, off his nose. Shut up, preps, okay? P.S. I won't update until you give me good reviews. The next day, I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high heel boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray painted my hair with purple. In the grey hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk and a glass of uh, red blood. I don't know, it's kind of blood that you'd have, but whatever. 
Suddenly, someone bumped into me, and all the blood spilled all over my top. I was so annoyed, guys. Bastard, I shouted angrily. I regret saying it when I looked up, because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face, and he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco's, and there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin, and he had a sexy English accent. Honestly, the English accent isn't actually that sexy, but okay. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him kind of like an erection. Only I'm a girl, so I can't get when you sicko, lol. <laughs> I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's alright, what's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter, and you know, most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood. <laughs> well, I'm a vampire, I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah, I roared. <laughs> what is this? We sat down to talk for a while. The Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Okay. I'll make another one of these, I swear to god. I'm so sorry.